think that was a good nap. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Infinite Space, where I'm still figuring out how to actually play the game, because apparently it's very complex, but whatever. And I actually have to click on this stuff, which is fun. Load. Yep, let's load it. Okay, now we're here, and I still have to click on stuff. Alright, wasn't done talking to everybody in here. So, we did the bartender. Let's talk to you again. Anything new? I think the human race has traveled throughout the universe. That's a good question. Far, far beyond the small Magellanic, Magellanic cloud. This is weird names. They say that mankind has spread to galaxies up to 10 billion light years away. And there are plenty of planets we could never reach in our lifetime. Not even if we, we used warp navigation and void gates. Wow. <laughs> Don't get all freaked out on me now. Hey, you're a zero G dog now, aren't you? If you want to see how far a man can go, why don't you just see yourself? Okay, maybe I will. Alright, let's talk to old woman. Lord uh, Panfilov has devoted his life to building this sector up into something great. It is all in an effort to turn this dominion of Ropesky into an ideal nation. That's it. Well, I guess we're done here then. Um, I guess we're done here. Alright, so we're traveling. We're gonna hit some battles, I'm sure. What is this? I don't know. What is this? Just changing the view. That's funny. What oh, is? There's a really powerful IP communication broadcasting through the Ropesky sector. Here, it's quick if I just show you. Look at the monitor. Reading this, Yuri? If you're watching this broadcast, I demand that you return to Ropesky immediately. Hey! Who's the cue ball? That's Demid Panfilov, the feudal lord of Ropesky. You mean to tell us this whole broadcast is just for you? Dot, dot, dot. On the screen, Demid Polifsky Panfilov continues. Yuri, because you chose to break the law, an important loved one of yours is now suffering the consequences. Loved one. Yuri, Yuri! Huh? Kira? Kira? You know that girl? Yeah, she's my... She's my... She's my little sister. What? You've got a sister? Yeah, she's the only family I've got. I can't believe this. They've got her, and it's all my fault. And so now you can see the situation. If you see this broadcast, Yuri, I'm sure you'll understand what you have to do. I'd hate to see a young man with such a promising future turn into anything as lawless as a desperate and as desperate as a zero G dog. Uh oh, I forgot to stop my timer. I'm sure we're only like three minutes or so into this. Obey the law, return to Ropesky, and devote yourself to the betterment of your planet, as is your duty. Damn him! How does he pretend to be a benevolent ruler when he's holding my sister hostage? So, uh, what are you gonna do? It's up to you, you know. I can take you back, Ropesky. No way, I'm not gonna give in to his dirty tactics. Isn't there some way I can fight him? Fight him, eh? Well, he won't get very f we won't get very far against his military might with just one ship, I promise you that. And I don't fight a battle unless I know I can win it. Oh, Kira, what am I going to do? Well, as long as you understand what we'd be in for, there might be just a way. Really? But you have to be prepared to do anything. Do you understand? Come and talk to me when or if you think you're ready. Alright. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hapsol. 
All right. Welcome, welcome. I'm the owner of this establishment. The name's Radomir. Relax and please enjoy your time here. All right, what's up? I heard that somebody from uh, Ropesky disobeyed the ban on space travel and went off into the sea of stars. I don't know who that person is, but I'll tell you one thing. They've sure got guts, but folks like that usually go to an early grave, if you know what I mean. This guy doesn't know when to shut up. Looking for work, are you? Alright, in that case, I'd like you to take this cargo to Bagoot. The job pays 300 G's. Yes? Okay then, great. Take this cargo to the tavern in Bagoot. Give it to the bartender there. It's kind of a gamble though. Are you sure you're up for it, kiddo? No. Just let me know if you change your mind. Yeah, I'll save first. What? So you want us to let you through the void gate, do you? I don't know about that. I mean, our jobs are on the line, you know. But you know, if you were to give us a little something like a bribe, well, we might consider it. Upside fellow, aren't you? Well, I'll do that later because I don't have a lot, A. Eh? And B, I don't need to go through there yet because. But no, I want to click system save. Yep. Alright, so we're saved now. Uh, back. Elevator, now let's go talk to, um, Neo. Yep, I am. There's a plant named Toro Pets in this sector. There's a little shipyard there. Hold on, you mean we buy a ship there? That's right. If we can get a hold of a destroyer class ship, we just might be able to pull this one off. But wait a minute, I don't have that kind of money. Don't worry about that, I've got an idea. Okay, I don't know about this, but right now Nia is the only one I can trust. You got some planet information! Woohoo! The planet Toro Pets has been added to the destination screen. Alright. Wait. No. No! I meant to go this. Let's go do this mission first. Huh, no battles. Well, whatever. Out of cargo from Hapsol. The bartender there got in touch with me about this. Here's your compensation for the job. Boom. Uh, Ed can transport Lay's claims to blah blah blah, so I'm afraid I don't have anything of that for you, sorry. Well, that's great. Uh, it's just like before. So, off we go. Let's go back to here for now. Maybe we'll get into a fight. Eh? Hey? Yep, there we go. I don't know what that means. How do you... Well, I guess we'll just fight it and hope for the best. Alright, now let's go forward. Get ready to hit him with a fucking barrage. Barrage your face off. Oh, you're dead. Victory!
other jobs for me before we move on. Thanks for taking care of that task for me. I'm afraid I don't have any more for you right now, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. Oh. Alright, well, let's pop a save and let's go do that thing. I'm saving more frequently than usual because I don't really know how to play this game very well yet. I'm just kind of like winging it. Which is cool. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and depart. Uh, but since I don't really know how long I've been going on this episode, because I forgot to start my timer, and it's been seven minutes since I started it, we're going to go ahead and call it now, and I'll be back with the next episode, where we go figure out uh, what it is we're doing over there, trying to earn some money for a destroyer class. Alright, later.